actually in training right now, but he is actually, his friend is deployed and he just sent me his address yesterday. So I am actually going to Joanne's to get some fabric to make him a tie blanket. I think he'll really enjoy that. So I'm going to try and find some material I think he'll like. He's kind of like a nerd with Pokemon, but he also likes sports. He's also from Texas. So just see what I can find and hopefully he'll like it. Maybe I'll stop like at the Dollar Tree and see if I can find like um, some snacks to stuff in the box too because I'd really like to get it sent out as soon as possible but yeah so you guys are gonna tag along with me the boys are being watched by Aunt Chelsea and Grandma and they're going to be laying down for naps soon anyways so um, yeah I'm just gonna spend a little alone time I guess <laughs> find something that I think he'll really like. Like, I believe he's a hunter, so maybe he'll like this. I don't know. It's so hard. I just want to, like, call him. Oh, I like that a lot. I really just want to, like, call him up and be like, hey, what do you want? But I really want to surprise him, too. So... What to do, what to do. Oh my gosh, it's got little sloths on it. If I knew someone was having a girl. Um, there's sports and stuff, but it doesn't look like any Texas. It's all like Michigan. So, oh, I like the plaid too. I'm a plaid girl though. Okay, I think I'm either going to go with this one, this fabric right here, or with the deer one. See, I really like the plaid one, but maybe it's just because I'm a girl. Like, I don't know. I think he'd probably enjoy the hunting one more, just because that's the kind of guy he is. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I'm gonna put this one in my cart and then just keep walking around and make a decision in a little bit. I got it in the cart. Now I need to find some fabric to match to put underneath the tie blanket. And I'm thinking either this brown or this lighter brown. I'm feeling like the tannish brown is what I'm going for. Because look at that pair. I just pulled out a dozen. Yeah, I like that. That'll be nice. Now I'm indecisive because there actually is Pokemon, and I like this one, but I feel like he would think it looks too girly. So there's like this one too. It's got Pokemon and everything on it, but I don't know. I think he'd really like it because he does like Pokemon, so. But the fabric feels like thin. I don't like how the fabric feels. This one's much thicker. Maybe there's 
more down here and then are thicker. Because these ones are thicker. It's just, I feel like it's just that one. But if I'm in love with it, there's going to be something underneath. So it's not like a huge deal. If there's not. Yeah, I think I just sold myself with the Pokemon. I actually got this gray fleece to match it, I think, to go underneath it. Um, but thinking about it, like, maybe it's a better idea. This one's thinner too, but, like, I have to remember, like, they're overseas and it's super hot there right now. So this might be perfect with it thinner. So that's a score on that part, so I I'm think. I'm still looking around the craft store to see if I can find stuff for the boys to do because it's supposed to get kind of rainy this week. Or, like, other things that we can do to put and make for Uncle Tyler and put in his box. <laughs> walking around guys they have styrofoam heads how funny would it be if we painted this and wrapped it inside the blanket and was like hey surprise painted it like real life so it looked oh my gosh Oh my gosh, okay. Just a funny thought for the day, I hey guess. Hey y'all, so I'm sitting in the Wendy's drive-thru. I've gotten stuff for my mother-in-law and I to eat because my brother and sister are going out to eat and we just wanted to bring back something for us. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Joann's as soon as I get back, so stay tuned. Finished view of the blanket. Super, super soft, I'm really excited about it. Um, I did two yards for each fabric, um, and it turned out really cute, they're fleece, and then I got this bag because I'm going to be going to Joann's a lot. Um, I usually do two yards for whoever's blanket I make. I usually make baby blankets for friends when they have babies, um, and make them for them, and call it a grow with me blanket, so they have it, they can wear it as a baby, but it can continue to go on with them. Um, I made it for two other people and Liam, also Blake when they were little, um, two other people in my husband's shops because we were all due around the same time. And I have a friend that's having a boy and another friend who just found out she's having a girl. So I'll be making them to send to them as well. Um, this is the bag I got so I can carry it and everything. It's super cute. I like the measuring. It was like $1.99. I got some glue sticks that were on the clearance rack to put in Blake's craft box, which is $2.97. And then I also got two journals. They're $9.99 each. My mother-in-law has the other one. Um, so we can use those for Bible study or whatever we want. So that's what I got from there. And I wanted to show you guys real quick. I got this for my boys for Christmas. And I just put the Spec Boys craft box um at walmart and i have just been filling it with different crafts for rainy days so i got this at all these last week where you can do like wacky faces and it comes with stickers um it's a super cute like rainy day thing i thought of a while ago and there's crayons construction paper got stickers this is actually a sticker book um that also comes with coloring Got markers, stamps, these are Blake's favorite. I've got, um, we got this for Blake for Easter, it's another coloring book. Uh, whiteboard, um, just different craft stuff, scissors, a lot of this stuff I got at the Dollar Tree too. These are those markers that you can use, um, um, let see if I can find it real quick and I'll show you guys. these um sorry for the mess on them but they're mess free coloring and you can buy these at the store i happen to have veggie tail ones um and they're markers and you color on it and you can like color on the table and other things and it won't show up it only shows up on these pages which is really cool um i don't know i have cars too that my sister gave me but here's like an example right here of the coloring like it does a really good job it's super super cool also have we got this a while ago um it's coloring activities book it's for military um we got it at um like a little craft show that they had so and then i've got cotton balls for activities more markers 
paint brushes. Well, it's not clothes, they're falling out everywhere. I've got tons of paint. I do have glue sticks. I didn't think I had them. So now I got extra glue sticks, I guess. Tape. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's just a little sun catcher. I've got Blake and paint. Um, this is Play-Doh and it's soap scented. It smells good. More paint, but I've also, like, I've got these we got from Wendy's two years ago and they're little Valentine's and they came with stickers. I don't think I have the stickers, but we can still color them and give them to family. I've got wet wipes in here, ribbon, crayons. Um, these are also things from Wendy's. They're just little, like, coloring sheets and um, just an activity as a pirate. And I've just been saving them for Blake for when he gets older or a rainy day, like I said. So then I have construction paper. I've got a bunch of different coloring books. I've got, of course, they're upside down. I've got newspaper down here, too, for when we paint. So I've got um, a biblical one, Sesame Street a Disney one, and Puppy Pals. Um, so yeah, guys, this is what we have, and I suggest it for when you have rainy days, too, because it comes in handy, and it's really fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This concludes our vlog today, but stay tuned. Later on this week, we're going to be going shopping to finish um, my friend's care package, so stay tuned to see what kind of things we send to them. Um, we try to do unique things instead of just, like, the regular stuff, so... Make sure to tune in, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to watch that video and future videos. Thanks guys, have a good rest of your day.